What are you doing? Don't eat it. Oi, don't actually eat it. Banksy, no. No, no, don't break it. <laughs> Just because you're not getting the attention. Banksy is not tug of war. Banks, no. <laughs> oh, you grotter. You grot bag. Nice. <laughs> Good. Oh, I'd love to look at my watch and say afternoon. I know it's the afternoon because it's my lunch break. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to a midweek spontaneous vlog. Now, I had no intention of vlogging today. However, this is a bit of a clue as to what I'm doing. Um, when I came out this morning to give Banksy his breakfast, he was boiling. I took his rug off. Dinks was stood there, almost panting like a dog. Thanks for the background noise, Puss. And obviously I can't take his rug off without um, using these. So straight away, I was like, Tina, let's finish the job that we started three, four weeks ago, where we took the underside of his neck and chest off. So I grabbed my clippers out and got off him whilst he was eating a tiny bit of chaff, one side. And he was really good, bless his heart. I'll show you a moment. Yeah, all of this <laughs> thick, thick hair came out, loads of it, and he was such a good boy. Since I've owned him, I have never fully clipped him. He's only ever had just the underside of his chest and belly off. But as it's got so warm, as you can see, I'm sleep. Oh, hi, Banks. Where have you appeared from too? Hello, baby. It's boiling here today, hence the sleeveless shoulders. So I thought I won't do it all at once because he was so good. I put him back out in the field to have a bit of a break. He looks a bit odd, admittedly. He's um, completely shaved one side and just patchy and a bit shaved the other side. But touch wood, the clippers are still going strong. They've cooled down and I am going to get the rest off now. So I thought I'm going to vlog it. One, because I want to. <laughs> and two, because I know there's lots of people at the moment. Oh, hi, he's talking to us. There's lots of people at the moment that sadly aren't getting to spend enough time with their ponios and would appreciate seeing a bit of horsey content. So I thought if I capture it on camera, I can get a quick mini midweek vlog, vloggy vlog vlog uploaded. So what I'm going to do is head out into the field and use some of these hair removing tools to get the worst off the side that's left to do so that the clippers glide through. It's a little bit easier, but no doubt in the meantime, before I get out there, somebody else is going to demand my attention, aren't you? Because those of you that will have seen last week's vlog or this week's first vlog, that's a strange, <laughs> don't normally say that, will see that Banksy's been learning to smile and he's been very, very needy ever since he's been being taught how to smile, haven't you? Mummy's got no treats at the moment because every time I come in the field now, he just pesters me and pesters me and pesters me because he wants to play. Look, he's just going to follow me now. Going to follow me? It's not you I want, I'm afraid. It's little dinks. Little legs we're going to get. But talking of legs, what we might do... Oh, neither of us are even on, even on camera here, thanks. What we might do, depending on how quickly I get dinks done, is attack your legs because they need a much needed spruce up and clean and bath and de-hairing too so maybe we'll attack that afterwards because no doubt he will be jealous if i spend too much of my time with dinks and not with the main man come on then let's go find him where is he have you been laughing at him with his silly haircut There he is! <laughs> You're a completely different colour under all that fluff, Dinks! Don't laugh at him, guys. As I said, it is a work in progress. Isn't it, little man? <laughs> and look how thick his goat is! Look at it! Oh, and his, his black dun line. Don't you nibble him, because he's got no coat to protect him now, thank you. You look like you're being nice and all of a sudden you'll give him a nibble, won't you? So yeah, that's the side that we're yet to do. This is what we did about three weeks ago. And he was a very good boy, weren't you? Weren't you just? So I'm going to use those items over there, the tiger's tongue and the hands-on grooming mitts to give this coat a good scrub. 
dry. I don't want to get it wet because then obviously I've got to wait ages for it to dry. But I'm going to give it a good de-hair and get the dead hairs out if Banksy will let me because he's currently currently being very, very needy, aren't you? Won't leave your mark. You just keep licking me. Ever since I've taught him to smile, all he wants to do is lick me because he thinks there's treats in there, don't you? But I don't have any in my pockets because we're not learning smiling at the minute, are we? Oh, good boy, leave me alone. Right, take this opportunity to grab those bits and get some of this dead hair out. I think it's safe to say somebody's enjoying that. Oh, thanks! Is that nice? The thing is with these animals, is they feel the need to groom you back when you're doing it, don't they? They're like, oh, let me do that to you too. Okay? You just get so jealous, don't you? Your head is heavy, you know, Banks. Resting on me. Oh, 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 is it because you're tired? Is it because you're tired? Today, not you. Uh, yep, I'm gonna get rid of him in a minute. And have my mummy all to myself. Oh. You're so predictable. You're so predictable. I haven't got any. I haven't got any. Look, who else is predictable? Oh, really tired, aren't you, Banks? Hi, Bess. You alright? Come to help me, have you? What are you doing? Don't eat it. I don't actually eat it. Banksy, no. No, no, don't break it. <laughs> Just because you're not getting the attention, give it back. Stop. <laughs> Banksy is not tug of war. Banks, no. <laughs> oh, you grotter. You grot bag. Nice. Right, so Banksy's still in the field. I've given him a hay net and little legs a hay net so that you've got each other for company. And then we're going to get this side off. You are boiling, aren't you? You're boiling hot. Okay? Yeah, we did it off. Run, run, ready? You're not fair, you're so Nah. As you can see, I'm not at all um, systematic in my clipping. Is that the word? But at the end of the day, it's all coming off. Doesn't matter what order in. He's also been um, covered in hay, thanks to Banksy. But it's all coming off. Look at his little dun stripe. <laughs> and then you're going to have a bath. I've just got to try and uh, get the belly off. But the belly's the bit that might need to be bathed first because it feels like it's um, full of grime. The clippers are sticking a bit in there. Whenever I clip Banksy, I would generally always bath him first, so I should have done that to you, but it was just a spontaneous get it off today because it's so hot, isn't it, little one? It's boiling, boiling down here today. I get around despite the loss. I'm over here, gotta get across. Oh, Dinkle. You look like a full grown horse with that new clip, didn't you? Right, let's get you clean. Let's see what you make for this. I can't remember the last time we had a bath. But it's warm water. Ready? Oh, good boy. Probably feels quite nice. It feels quite nice. We need to work on getting your mane on the right side, don't we? No, stay there. Good boy.
asked about it, frequent questions that I get after posting bathing vlogs or Insta stories are, where did your shower attachment come from? Well, it actually came with the shower, which is a Shower King shower that I have had for, oh, must be coming on for four years now. But good news is you don't have to buy a shower. You can get these separately on Amazon. And the last time I checked, they were on offer for... I think it was like 26 99 but they are really good because you can put shampoo in that compartment and then you can twist it to have with soap or without soap just clear clear water fresh water so you can shampoo them with the shampoo in there and then rinse it out and there's all different directions of flow for the actual squirtiness and it's really powerful the tiger tongue quite often get asked about that too that is brilliant for getting dry hair out and also scrubbing white legs that is really good for bringing as are these bringing bringing banksy's legs up clean but also for using as a sponge but a bit more of a like abrasive sponge so it actually digs in deep and gets the grime out and these are the other thing that are brilliant for getting white legs clean and for scrubbing little ponies although i didn't use them much on him because because he's just been clipped and probably feeling a little bit sensitive i thought this one was a little bit kinder but I did use these in the field for getting the hair out because they've got nice big knobbly bits on and they're the hands-on grooming gloves. And I've had them, they're a size small. And I have had them for about five years and they're still going strong. So yeah, I will obviously put links to all three of those items in the description box, but I thought I would just drop in and say that quickly because I know that I often get asked that and I know that this particularly is something that people desperately want to get hold of. No, you can't roll. Thank you. Walk you over by Banksy to dry. You got your lead rope stuck between your legs. You silly, you've got, <laughs> you've got all your hair on your nose. Oh dear, right. Let's scrape some of that water off. And then, I was going to put your dry rug on, but because it's nice and warm, I don't think we need to because I remembered I got this. Oh, I know you desperately want to roll. I know, I know. Let's go you bum around that way. We'll scrape that side. Then we can do this look. And that gets all the water off. With the mitt. <sighs> yes. Then you can go out and have your roll in the grass and get all muddy, no doubt. Desperate to go out, aren't you, little legs? Is this a good itch? And then we'll get the belly hair off in the morning. You're a good boy, aren't you? Just let me roll. Just let me roll. Go on then. Come on then. Come on then, I'll let you out. I just had to chase, <laughs> chase him out to the grassiest patch I can find from the gate. Oh, is that nice? Yeah, you can see the patch I missed on your belly, can't you? <coughs> Oh, little man, I bet that is nice. And you're going to have a yee-haw moment when you get up. Woohoo! Is that nice? You shake like a doggy. Oh no, just food. You're shining. Woohoo, Dingo! Look at you, you little hunk. Oh yeah, obviously go and find a muddier patch to roll in with rabbit poo. Is that nice? At least we got all the deep grime out. You do shake like a dog. Banks is like, well, if you're going to roll again, I'm going to roll again. Look how hard the ground has gone already. Go on then, Banks. <laughs> Dinks is on his 30th roll. <laughs> of course you've got to join in. Oh. That was half-hearted. That was half-hearted. Now he's going down again, look. Was there any 
point in me bathing you? Hey, now that you've got rid of some of that fluff, you can go all the way over, Dinks. <laughs> You're like the spaniel of him funny five minutes after a bath. Steady. Thanks, you like the spaniel? Gonna roll again? I hope you all enjoyed our little mini midweek vlog, guys. At least we've got a nice shaven and clean pony now. Banksy's turn tomorrow. Over and out from me. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please do give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you all on Tuesday for the routine weekly vlog with Emily and another special guest but I'm not going to tell you who you'll have to um tune in to find out bye bye what you like to do, 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 do.